Well, that is much more like it. Full time at Goodison, Everton 2, Arsenal 5. I've been talking in recent weeks about how it feels like a long time since we really battered a Premier League team, since we really took them apart. We managed it today. And I suppose the first place to start is the fact that this starting lineup for the first time this season had that trio Alexis Sanchez, Alexandra Lacazette, and Meza Ozil all together. And look, it was everything we could have hoped for. I mean, Arsenal created 30 chances, I believe, 14 of them on target. Jordan Pitford had his customary great game against us. Were it not for him, the scoreline could have been even more heavily weighted in our favour. And really, this was an Arsenal performance which, pretty much from the first whistle, bristled with attacking promise and intent. In those first few minutes, Ozil was electric. Everything he did seemed to lead to a chance. I think he finished the game having created six or seven goal-scoring chances, the highest recorded tally in a single Premier League game this season. To do that away from home, very impressive indeed. But we did fall behind. Um, And if there's a criticism to be levelled at the team today, it is the sloppiness of the two goals we conceded. Granite Xhaka caught in possession, looked like a foul, from Gay, but he was unaware of his surroundings. He took too long on the turn. Familiar failings for Dimshaka. And Wayne Rooney, Mertzaka gave him far too much room and he bent the ball into the top corner. He will do that against Arsenal. We've seen it so many times in the past. And then uh, Arsenal, though, recovered and crucially managed to get the goal before half-time. An unlikely source, Nacho Morel, fantastic smart volley when the ball rebounded to him and Pickford couldn't keep that one out after he had saved Shaka's initial shot. But really, it was in the second half that we took control of the game. And one of the things I was really encouraged by today, and I think it is to do with the presence of Alexis and Ozil in the team, is how much better we used the ball on the break. We weren't perfect but we were able to make a couple of sweeping counter-attacks. None better than the one for our second goal. Ozil actually played a pass right on the edge of his own box. The ball found its way to Lacazette. He then in turn found Alexis. Lovely, sumptuous, chipped cross and a fine header from Ozil. A little bit reminiscent of the goal at Watford last season that those two conjured. So that was 2-1. And then Gay was sent off for Everton for a second bookable offence. And that killed the match effectively. Um, we ran away with it really from that point on Lacazette got off the score sheet um, got off the score sheet uh, in style Ozil's tuck back uh, bent into the near post by Lacazette really calm composed finish uh, Aaron Ramsey Jack Wilshire came off the bench and created a goal for Aaron Ramsey took it well and then Alexis Sanchez put the seal on it in stoppage time. Brilliant individual goal. It looked like he was going to be denied a place on the score sheet. He wasn't having it. And there was no way he was going to pass to anyone else. Dribbling around a few defenders, lashing it into the far corner. Superb finish. There was a goal for uh, Everton in there. Umani asked defensive mix-up between Monreal and Czech. They sought to close down Czech all game long. And he looked uncomfortable with it. He's not good with his feet when you put him under pressure. Monreal's back pass was a bit short. But Czech should have you know, had enough to, to keep that ball away from the ass. But look, we were sloppy at the back. But it was so nice to see an Arsenal team playing really good football. Penetrative football. Exciting football. And who knows how long we'll watch Ozil and Alexis and Lacazette all together. Uh, But let's enjoy it while we can, because based on what we saw today, it's going to be very fun indeed to watch over the next few months. So, a good day, a good win, just what was needed after Watford last weekend. Everton are appalling, surely that's the end of Koeman. Um, But yeah, not our problem. Delighted with that. Cheers guys, leave it there.